Okay, we are back in drone deploy. So we have flown, we've made our maps, we've flown the maps, uh, we've made some annotations on the maps, and now it's time to get them out and do something with them. So down here at the bottom, uh, we want to select our map, and so this one might just be overlays, right? So this uh, particular map, uh, this particular report is going to, we know that we have these different reports that we can view. So we want to, let's just go ahead and do this one first. All right, so we want to export. Uh, it looks like we can just print this one. Or we can share it. I feel like there are some maps that we can export as well. Let's go back to explore. All right, so for our overlays, we are going to export. We can export this as a PDF, uh, as a GeoTIFF map. And so GeoTIFF is what we would want to do if we were to send out something that we wanted to put into GIS software. Uh, so if you've taken a GIS or a remote sensing class, uh, we know that we can use Landsat uh, to acquire the satellite imagery of a location. We know that that imagery is not necessarily uh, very accurate, seeing as that satellite is, you know, thousands and thousands of miles or kilometers into the atmosphere uh, and we kind of need to ortho rectify that so the geo tip map is what you would export this in order to um, in order to put it into a gis software and so you would have the different projections that you could use and that is just going to be dependent upon your personal preference or maybe your um, your boss's personal preference, client's personal preference, whatever, right? So uh, it is typically the WGS84 is the typical one that we use, uh, but you have plenty of options. And look, notice that this one is saying uh, this NAD83 is probably the most likely one. So again, uh, that's just going to be a personal, uh, personal, maybe even a professional preference as to which one you prefer to use. Uh, let's just go ahead and select this WGS84. We're going to export this as a GeoTIFF. We'll click export. Uh, and that is going to go to your email. Notice that that is going to my email. Um, if you had like a paid version of this, you would be able to send it to, uh, you would be able to copy or have other emails on it as well. Maybe your boss's email or a colleague's email so that both of you could work on this together. So we want to export as a GeoTIFF map. We can get a PDF map. We'll export that. Notice that it's processing both of those. Let's say we wanted to do the digital terrain model or the plant health. It will now give us a plant health export. And we'll export those. So uh, it appears that we're just going to, you know, export these three. They will come to your email uh, and there will be some uh, kind of a, a copy that you can share with someone else. And so, uh, you know, remember, this is just a trial version so most of the functionality is there but not all of it and i believe that if you had if you had the paid version that you uh, that there would be more uh, notice it says not available on your plan so i didn't get to show you that this uh this 3d point cloud model that can be made and i feel like i'm going to have us do some of that what we can use some elevations and there's some different uh, 3D point cloud is is awesome, but I'm not super familiar with it. I'm just familiar with how awesome it is. All right. And so that each one of these in too much that each one of these points 
contains some bit of information. So, yeah, so let's look at inspect. And I can click on one of these points. Maybe not. Let's just go back to Explore. You can get lost in here. You can get lost. Um, what I did is I came down here at the bottom. We have our map. And then we have our 3D model. And within that, you can zoom in um, and see uh, maybe some problems that you're having with the construction site. Notice we still have all of our issues or our annotations. And we click on this contours. And now we have a contour map of the entire area. Notice that in the previous one, we had just a digital terrain model uh, with this uh, 3D point cloud. Uh, this is kind of trying to simulate what would occur if you were using uh, LIDAR to the best that it can, right? So even just with a consumer drone like the Mavic Air 2S, uh, we are able to create a map, a digital elevation map, at least pretty close. That is cool. That is super cool right there. Man. I got lost in that. Um, okay, <laughs> let me try and get back out. Yeah, let me try and get back to that, back to where we were. Um, so we exported some of these maps. Let's see if we can find out what's going on with our exports, existing exports. Uh, one of them has been sent. It's still processing the other ones to get sent out, uh, and so. I feel like this is a pretty good start for, you know, how to make a map, how to um, how to process the images, and then how to do something with those processed images. And I guess the next portion would be uh, actually going through flying all of, uh, I, I guess, maybe the flight procedures that I do. And the flight procedures are, are really pretty simple. Um, by making the map inside of inside of the drone deploy mobile app when we go to fly this basically just connects to the drone and flies that pattern and all we have to do is watch it and make sure that it's taking the right pictures and doesn't fall out of the sky so that's a pretty cool thing so i feel like this wraps this up i will probably have some more images for you to practice with and process and hopefully try and do another one of these 3d point clouds uh, and digital terrain models to kind of give you an idea uh, of, of some of the, the more intricate applications that we can do with this. You know, for, for agriculture, pretty much this plant health is going to be a pretty big thing for us because then we can find out where our trouble patterns are uh, and we can do something with that. Uh, we know where our good spots are. Uh, this would go for soil sampling and crop production and how we can go about fixing that. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I look forward to working with each one of you as we, you know, learn how to use this technology uh, to our advantage in the future.